everybody welcome back to my channel today i will be discussing not so much discussing but i'm just showing you my perfume collection and some fragrances that i pair them with so if you want to know more keep on watching okay so i know i'll, I'll speak from my perspective so over the years i've always wear, worn fragrances since i was in high school and i'm 36 years old now um Back then, I wasn't concerned with pairing fragrances with the scent I'm wearing. But of course, as you get older, when you're more into your fragrances, you're like, okay, I can't wear this lotion with that because it clashes, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to show you what I have in my collection that I use and what fragrances I pair them with. So let's get it going. So the first one I'm going to talk about is an OG. I think y'all all know about this. Jurgens cherry almonds i think my light is kind of bright that's what you can't see from there jergis cherry almond so this lotion is a throwback most people probably have been using this since they were kids um yeah i've been using this i've been using jergens for a while i haven't purchased this particular scent probably since i was actually in high school so this has a cherry almond scent i'm not gonna put it on me and um for me i pair it with Prada Candy Gloss, Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Um, occasionally, Marc Jacobs Perfect. And Lolita Lampica, the original. But I don't really wear it that much. But if I wanted to, I would pair it with that lotion. Also, some of my almond scents, I would also pair with that lotion. So, since we're speaking on almonds, I will go right into this one, which is Bath & Body Works. Almond Blossom. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are familiar with this or have seen this before. This one, love it. Oh, it's such a good, it's a sweet, warm, toasty almond. For me, I paired this one with my Oud Bouquet Reminiscence um, Drage, Marc Jacobs Perfect, and I believe that's it. If I think of another, we'll come back to this one, but I believe that's it for now. As far, oh, also, Tom Ford, effing fabulous. I also wear this with that. Yes. Another, we have Bath and Body Works at the beach. Can y'all see? Yes. At the beach. This smells like the beach. This one I wear with Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I also wear it with my K Ali Utopia vanilla cocoa cocoa vanilla i always mess mess the name up but this is what i wear with those beachy scents i think this might go with soul Janeiro. i have the bum bum cream it's kind of similar but really good i okay things falling i have here victoria's secrets pink cocoa chill this one has cannabis in it now as a cannabis note, for me, oh God, I got on my nose. <laughs> I don't really, I don't get that cannabis note. It smells, I get that kind of cocoa kind of vibe, kind of like a beachy, beachy vibe. Now I have the Balenciaga Flora Botanica, which also has a cannabis note, but this doesn't really go with it. This is more something you will wear like with a coconut scented beachy lotion. It's more of a summertime vibe. This one, don't don't cry for her. I have a backup bottle of this. This is like I don't even know how many bottles of this I've worn through, but this is rose. Now, let me get grab this one too, so I can talk about these two together or someone together. So this is Bath and Body Works Rose. This is Bath and Body Works Rose Vanilla from the Aromatherapy Collection. Okay. Now, regular rose to me goes with Delina Exclusive. Rose vanilla, I mean, it can go with both, but I pair it with Delina Exclusive. Rose vanilla, I use with Delina OG. So this one, this one has a more, that floral, fresh rose scent. This one is a sweeter rose. Don't cry for it either. I have literally two more bottles of this backed up. This one has that vanilla in it now i'm not gonna lie this one can go with delina or delina exclusive but i've been wearing it with um og delina because it to me it goes better and this one goes better with that one as well let me think what other rose fragrances i have that i wear these with this these mostly i pair with delina 
So that's that. This one, y'all see this beat up bottle? Now I don't have a backup of this. This one is like living on a freaking prayer. This is Bath and Body Works Bonfire Bash. This one I pair with Killian Princess. Because I get that marshmallowy scent from this. I know everybody's different and probably pairs it with something else. But me, Killian Princess is a vibe. Bath and Body Works again, pretty as a peach. See that? Now, this one, for me, I pair with my OG Gucci Rush, which I've been wearing. I bought, I've actually been wearing this since the year it came out, 1999. This one very peachy very fruity and summery and i literally wear it with my gucci rush all the time and it goes perfectly this is bath and body works pretty as a peach now this one here i can't even say well okay and i have to go back to another lotion because i forgot to mention a perfume i would i pair it with so this is bath and body works with vanilla chiffon now, I need more vanilla fragrances because this one is a cakey, cakey vanilla. Like, okay, it says wild vanilla bean, spun sugar, and white peach blossom. This one is like sugary, like sweet, 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 sweet. So it's kind of hard to pair it with a fragrance if it's not super duper gourmand. The only, I guess you could say, ledge i've jumped out on with this was i used this with gentle fluidity gold but i kind of watered it down with another lotion i have that's unscented because this was like very it's very gourmand i'm gonna be honest and sometimes you, me personally i don't like wearing stuff like this if i feel like i'm gonna sweat like i feel like these sugary ones are more for like cold weather but then even so i don't know sometimes these gourmand notes are weird with my body chemistry this one is fine but it's just super duper gourmand and sugary. I don't really go for like sugary. I would say I like sweet, but this is actually like smells like like cake and vanilla extract. It's it's like mad sweet. So caution with this. Probably save it more so for your gourmands if you want to like amp it up. Because even after this dries, you can still smell it. So I didn't like the way it was with gentle fluidity gold like by itself it definitely has to be watered down because it kind of takes away from that fragrance that fragrance is more boozy this is like in your face sugar then i have this one now i'm gonna be honest i don't i haven't worn this with um hmm. wait I, I honestly haven't smelled this since i bought it okay that got on my nose too but this one i'm getting honey but what else is in this? It doesn't say the other. This one is really good. Um, I don't know. It's honey and something sweet. I don't know. I'm probably going to put the notes up if I can find them online. Um, this is good, actually. I don't have any fragrances, actually, that have any honey in it, of course. So that's why it's full like this. And also even this one from them. This is... I think my fourth bottle of this. I actually love this lotion. I don't give a damn if I have a scent to match it or not. I really love that one. This one. This is Bath and Body Works, another aromatherapy fragrance. This one has violet sandalwood and eucalyptus for me. This one pairs with a fragrance that I have that is actually discontinued, which is Balenciaga B. This is so close, like to it, it smells, it goes perfect with the fragrance. It actually amps it up. I also wear it with, um, wow, my earring bag came out. I also wear it with D squared She Wood because that one is actually my kind of dupe or copycat of the Balenciaga since it's discontinued. So, this is the one that I use now. I don't know if this is ever coming back or if this was a seasonal because I've not been able to find it. I, well, not on their site, of course, they have it on ebay whatever but i haven't been able to find it on the bath and body works website i'm hoping it's because it's just seasonal and they'll be back next year fingers crossed because i can't be without that now these last two lotions i have are just hand lotions and y'all all know the brand joe malone i have here english paraphrasia i'm only gonna wear this because english paraphrasia which i have that fragrance this one is a really good one i should do a joe malone review one day 
Um, and this one is wood sage and sea salt. I love this one so much. Now this one is woody. So I feel like if I'm wearing a fragrance that dries down to like a woody something or other, or maybe even if I want to make something a little more, a little less sweet and a little more woody, I would wear this. But this is a small, I'm not using this on my body. I'm just giving an example. Now, the other thing I did want to say really quickly back to these two. Now, I forgot to say, I also wear these with Intense Cafe and Roses Musk by Montal. These, you, I mean, it just depends on you, which one you feel. I feel like this one goes better with Rose Musk, plain rose. Rose Vanilla, to me, goes better with Intense Cafe. Just use your best judgment. The way I kind of figure out also how to pair lotions with the fragrance is I look at the notes on the website, but also your best bet is probably to go in store to buy lotions only because there's so many combinations that can be made within a lotion you don't want to bank on just the notes online just like with the perfume you don't want to bank on the notes online solely because sometimes like this I, I, when i heard whip chiffon i'm thinking a light airy vanilla not a heavy gourmand syrupy sweet lotion so I would say it's best to smell fragrances first, I mean, the lotions first, to figure out what you can pair them with. I know some people act funny style, like, oh, Bath and Body Works. Da -da. Hey, if you can buy uh, the perfume version of your fragrance, and that's the other thing. Some of these perfumes, when they make lotions, the lotions are literally like watered down crap. They don't even moisturize. So I really don't care for the designer brand lotions. Now, I haven't tried... Um, the Delina lotion or cream. I'm not sure what the consistency of that is. Maybe I will be able to maybe get a travel size or something to see how it is. But I prefer to buy like a Bath and Body Works or something like that where it actually moisturizes because there's no point in just putting on the lotion just for the scent. That's what the perfume is for. Defeats the purpose. So hopefully I helped you guys out a bit. Hopefully somebody can get some or gather some information from some of the fragrances that I have. I probably left some stuff out that I can match it up with, but if you guys wear some of these, let me know in the comments. If you like it, subscribe, thumbs up, turn on your notification bell, and all of that good stuff. This is another long one, over 10 minutes, I guess because I'm sitting here looking at you guys talking, so I feel more comfortable. But yeah, I will see you all in the next one. I hope you enjoyed the, enjoyed the, the yeah. That means it's time to wrap this up. All right, y'all. Peace. Bye. Later. <laughs>